Welcome to our lecture online. So the Hubble law is such an important law in astronomy, I thought it might be a good idea to do a set of videos on that and get into it a little bit more, a little bit deeper, and get a little bit better understanding of the significance of the Hubble law. So what we're going to do here is first relate that to the concept of the expanding universe. Going back in history, back in 1917, Vesto Schleifer, working under Parzival Lowell, measured the spectrum of a number of galaxies and determined that almost all of them were redshifted. Not all of them, almost all of them, because there is still some gravitational interaction, but the vast majority were redshifted, which meant that they were moving away from us. So all around, in every direction we looked, galaxies were moving away from us. Of course, at the time, that was still prior to that big debate where people didn't realize if those things were galaxies or actually nebulas in our own galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy. But Hubble in 1923 finally solved that debate and said, no, no, those things out there that we thought were spiral nebulas are actually spiral galaxies, galaxies outside our own galaxy, island universes as they called them. And then in 1929, Hubble found a relationship between the speed at which these galaxies were moving away from us and the distance. He realized the farther they were, the faster they were moving, the closer they were, the slower they were moving. And so that concept, that relationship, that linear relationship between velocity and distance, and you can see here that he plotted on this graph, that relationship is now known as Hubble Law. The farther the galaxy is, the faster it's moving away from us. And it's a linear relationship, which means if it's twice as far away, it moves twice as fast. Three times as far away, it moves three times as fast. Which was an enormous discovery because now we could turn the tables around and say, if, you, if I can figure out how fast it's moving, which is relatively easy to do, you measure the redshift, you put into an equation, out pops the velocity, then you put on the graph, and you determine the distance. So for every galaxy around us, we can easily figure out the velocity, and then from that, easily figure out the distance. And that's what the Hubble, the Hubble law did for us. So here we have kind of a pictorial, hopefully that will make things a little bit clearer. Let's say we are here, the Milky Way galaxy. We live on one of the spiral arms. So here, right there is the sun, and the sun is about 30,000 light years from the center of our galaxy. We take our telescopes and we look all around us and every other galaxy that we see is moving away from us. The ones that are close by don't move so fast. The ones a little bit further away are moving faster. And you can see the ones that are really far away move really fast. And it's that linear relationship again. So it doesn't matter where we look, all the galaxies around us, with few exceptions because the gravitational interaction sometimes messes with the galaxy close by, but the vast majority, the galaxies are moving away from us proportional to their distance. The distance, the speed proportional to their distance. Again, twice as far, twice as fast, three times as far, three times as fast. And so that is what we're seeing. A very interesting idea, a very interesting discovery. And what did it all mean? What did it mean that everything was moving away from us? It gave us an idea that there must have been a beginning of the universe when all the galaxies were close together and now they're all moving apart from one another and by realizing the distance between any two galaxies that distance was covered by the speed at which the galaxies moving away from us and from that we were able to discover the age of the universe. So the, the, the discovery of the expanding universe led to all kinds of additional discoveries and understanding what the universe is all about. So if you're interested in this, stay tuned. We have a few more videos to talk about the Hubble law. The Milky Way is also moving, right? Well, that's a good question. So what happens if you think about this one right here? Let's say you have an alien living on this galaxy right there and looks at our Milky Way galaxy. Our Milky Way galaxy will be moving away from that galaxy right there. So all galaxies appear to be moving away from one another, including the Milky Way galaxy. Of course, from our perspective, we look like we're in the center of the universe and everything is moving away from us. Yeah, if they say the Milky Way is moving to the right. Depends to whom, that well, to the right relative to this one, but it's moving to the left relative to this one. Yes. It's all but relative. If it's moving in the direction that's moving, the galaxy that's moving in the same direction, would that appear to be slower? So let's say there's an alien living here, 
the alien will think that that galaxy is not moving at all. It's sitting still, and all the other galaxies are moving away from this galaxy. Yeah, but, it's also, but he's also moving. Relative to another galaxy again. It's yeah. always relative to another galaxy. But the other galaxy's um, speed is not changed depending on which way his galaxy is moving. Correct. It's because of something that happens, and I'm going to hold up. I'm not going to answer you that question now because I have, we have some video coming up that will explain all that. Cliffhanger? Cliffhanger. <laughs> okay. <laughs>